Thank you for joining us on TV and CBSN Minnesota. We are an hour away from a curfew in Brooklyn Center as protests in the wake of Dante Wright's death continue for a seventh night. This comes after 126 people were arrested outside the city's police station last night, and we have team coverage tonight from Brooklyn Center. Jeff Wagner was at a protest earlier in Stillwater. He's going to tell us about that in a moment, but first we want to check in with David Schumann on the latest on the crowds outside of the police station there. David. Aaron, the crowd has grown here throughout the day, but we are off its peak. People have seemed to slowly been trickling out in the last half hour, but you can see behind me there is this mass of people that are chanting. Those chants have kind of come and gone periodically. Uh, earlier, it was kind of low energy. You had some music going, people grilling, but the protest energy was not really there. That seems to be building now. Uh, the sentiments of what they're saying seem to rally around two major points. They're honoring Dante Wright and calling for justice, as well as sharing their hostility toward law enforcement, who are separated from the protesters by two layers of fencing and the lawn in front of the department. Now, someone else who's been here for a few hours is Damon Bryant, Dante Wright's brother. I asked him what he's hoping comes out of these protests now that we're in the seventh night of it. He said without hesitation, murder charges for former officer Kim Potter. People are out here for other reasons too, like this father I met, he brought his four young children today. He just wanted them to see what peaceful protesting looks like, what fighting for justice looks like, he said. Um, and there's been a lot of good out here as well. There, was, there have been a few different barbecues that gave this protest almost like a cookout kind of atmosphere. Um, one man told me that a barbecue that started at noon today served like tens of thousands of pounds of food, uh, which is pretty incredible. So the sense of community is definitely here tonight. And something else that was notable earlier, we saw Reverend Jesse Jackson. He was here briefly embracing people and walking through the crowd. It felt like those who saw him were really put at ease. He certainly had this magnetic presence about him. Now, there was someone on a megaphone earlier who said, we're going to be out here all night. They got a very loud cheer, but of course, that curfew is in place for 11 o'clock tonight. Okay, an hour away. We will keep an eye on it. Thank you, David.